let's see if we can write 12.98 as a mixed number. So the first thing you might want to realize here is that this is the exact same thing as 12 plus 0 0.98. Nine, eight. And this simplifies it because then we just have to write it as 12 and some fraction that's the same thing as 0 0.98. So if we can write 0 0.98 as a fraction, then we could, we're essentially we're, we're, we're almost done. So let's see if we can do that. So this 9 right over here is in the tenths place. I'll just write it like that, tenths place. And this right over here is in the hundredths place. It's in the hundredths place. So you could view 0 0.98 two different ways. You could view it as 9 tenths. 9 tenths, that's this part right over here, 9 tenths plus, plus 8 hundredths, plus 8 hundredths. And if you want to find a common denominator, that would be the same thing as 90 over 100 plus 8 over 100 plus 8 over 100, which is equal to 98 over 100. Equal to 98 over 100. And so 9, 0 0.98 is 98 hundredths. And another way you could have said that is, look, this space right over here is in the hundredths place. And so this is 98 hundredths, or 98 hundredths. So you could have skipped this right over here. So if we just wanted to write it as a mixed number, we could just write it as 12, 12, and instead of 0 0.98, 12 and 98 hundredths. Now, we haven't l reduced this to lowest terms yet. So let's see if we can simplify this. 98 is divisible by 2, and so is 100. So let's divide both of them by 2. They have that common factor. So we're going to divide both of them by 2. And so this is the same thing as 12, and 98 divided by 2 is 49. 100 divided by 2 is 50. And I think that's about as far as we can do. 49's factor is it's divisible by 7, but 50 isn't. So we've put it in lowest terms. So 12.98 can be written as a mixed number 12 and 49 fiftieths.